We use that term social justice, but I always believed that I wanted to help people. So I think we need to treat people with fairness. And I, I think maybe that's my overriding concern. I had a friend say to me just recently, Bob, you really don't care about money, you care about people. And I said, that's what we're here for, because we're all in it together. I think people view me as somebody who stands up for uh, and says things and, and backs what I say. Uh, nobody ever had to tell me, uh, I mean, I'm for an elected school board. Uh, I'm for making sure we have a moratorium. But what I find interesting is wherever I'm going throughout the city, Teachers come up to me all the time. We're with you. It doesn't matter what, the, what they're saying. And I don't know what this, the hidden agenda is or isn't. And in some ways, it frees me up because the special donors, I'm not tied to that. I'm not tied to the big interest donors that the mayor has and the banks and the, uh, the hedge funds that he has or the big numbers that come out of uh, some of the other folks and some of the other unions. Mm -hmm. And so it makes me the, clearly the choice to be an independent here. And obviously, you know, dollars and cents, I'm on the phone when some of the other candidates don't have to be there. But we've got more mm -hmm. contributors, I think, than all of them combined. So I you think, think we've you're got more the, individual contributors. Yes. Rahm Emanuel and Gary McCarthy has been a failure in crime. This month, this month alone is just, I, I, we're at, uh, as of today, I think we've had 96 shootings by the end of the w week, and this is a, what, Thursday? I, I don't know what we're gonna face. And I pray to God every day that we don't have a shooting. Mm -hmm. But where has all this money gone for overtime? Remember a, a budget hearing ago, not the last one, but a year ago? Oh, it's all VRI into the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And then now this year it's because of court overtime. I mean, somebody better get the management down and work with the state's attorney's office and figure out what we can do to, to stop this uh, hemorrhaging in terms of financial resources of this city. And, and every time on a budget hearing, we have special, we have different answers from last year to this year, not just police, but on, in other departments on how money is allocated and where it's going. So this, this whole thing with a, how our budget hearings are also conducted is just uh, uh, all, all within two weeks. It's just nonsense too. I think we need to look at a pension obligation bond uh, and we have to have direct sources of funding, a short period of time to help the police and fire. Uh, same thing, we ought to be looking at what we're going to be doing at the CPS. I mean, the mayor balkanized and uh, the f revenue sources for next year. I mean, I mean, we should be outraged when you take 14 months of revenue into one year and we take those two months from 16 and we put it into 15 for the, to get CPS through. That was just an accounting maneuver. It's just like the shell game that we face with, with this budget. Quite frankly, when, when I take office in May, I already know how bad this budget's gonna be. Whether it's a $58 million hole here because of the parking lot issue, or if it's other issues that are, are going to be affecting us. This bu these budgets have really never added up. And where is all this money from the TIFs at this point? How do you feel about Bruce Rauner? I mean, do you feel like you could work with him? And well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with everybody that went on the mayor. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna have to find common ground across, uh, because again, Chicago is the economic center for activity here in the Midwest and in this country. Uh, jobs are here. Uh, the future is here. If we can reestablish hope, reestablish confidence, I mean, it's not too confident out there. Because mm -hmm. I don't hear people, uh, the problem with being an alderman and running for mayor at the same time, aldermen have to be cheerleaders on what this city is. You know, you, it, it can't be too critical because I will be the mayor, and then what? But you know, how you restore the hope, hope and confidence of, of all the citizens here? Because the people are saying one thing, and they've got good solutions. I mean, people have great ideas. I mean, I've got a clean and green that has four to 600 people because they all want to participate and make sure this city's clean and green. But you know, if you're not gonna listen to what the people are saying, you've got a problem.